Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your computer screen. The video feed is fine. I'm outside at night, out by my garden, and the tomatoes braving the mosquitoes because we've got to find some hornworms. I've been fighting a big, 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 big battle with these things this year. And I'm about to bring out the secret weapon. Stay tuned. So what is this secret weapon, you ask? Behold. It's a lightsaber. Check this out. Wow. Not really, it's just a, it's a black light. Did you know that hornworms glow? They reflect UV light. So you can take a black light and kind of spotlight those little suckers and pick them off by hand. That's what we're about to do. So in order for this to work, we've got to ditch the flashlight, break out the UV. I've already pulled a couple off of here. Ooh, what was that? Get out of here, kitty kitty. What do you think you're doing down there? Like I said, I've already pulled a couple off of here and I spotted another one. Get out from under my feet, cat, I can't see you. So I figured I would turn the camera on and show you what this looks like. Where's my flashlight? There we go. Okay. There it is. Can you see that hot spot there in the middle of the screen? Oh. That is our little tomato hornworm. That's just a small one. Seems like I've had some eggs or something hatch here recently because I've already pulled three of these small ones right about this size off. But this black light works really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one. Uh oh, missed it. There we go. Don't know how familiar you are with hornworms. If you grow tomatoes, you're probably very familiar with them. And we always call them tomato hornworms. But, did you know, and I wasn't aware of this until, I guess, last year, but there are two different species of these hornworms. There are tomato hornworms, and then there are also tobacco hornworms. Now, they both look very similar, except that the stripes of a tomato hornworm are outlined in green, and they have a blue horn on their tail. Whereas a tobacco hornworm is going to have little black dots that outline the stripes and they're going to have a red horn on their tail. And these are the ones that I find in my garden. So technically, I guess we don't have tomato hornworms. We have tobacco hornworms. And both species will end up becoming a, um, a sphinx moth. Look at how well that goes. Look at its the head right there. Tail where the spine is, which by the way, those spines are not dangerous. They won't poke you at all. They're they're just there for uh, for looks. <laughs> you would think that would be the head end. As a matter of fact, the whole thing is designed to look like the head. But in actuality, the head is at the other end. The part that's kind of glowing green there. But these hornworms become a, a, a sphinx moth. A rather large species of sphinx moth. A five spotted or six spotted, I think. The tomato hornworm is going to morph into a five spotted hawk moth, like the one depicted in the picture. And a tobacco hornworm will become a six spotted hawk moth. And I saw one out here earlier. I got home, we got home a little bit late. We've been out doing stuff. It was my, uh, my mom's birthday, so we were there. When I got home, 
came over to the garden. Oh, look at that. I came over to the garden just to check some things out and one of the big sphinx moths flew away. So I figured I better get in here and check for worms. I don't know that this one, I don't think that one is a hornworm. I think that's a different species of worm. But still, it's eating my tomatoes, so we'll get rid of that one too. If you're having trouble with hornworms or any other type of worms on your tomatoes in your garden in general, and you don't want to use chemical pesticides, this is probably your best way to go in getting rid of them. Hand picking them, and you can get out during the day and search for them. Whew. I definitely do some of that. But occasionally I'll brave the mosquitoes and come out with my UV light and see what I've missed. So I apparently have had some eggs hatch here pretty recently. I've already killed seven just tonight. And all of them have been about the same size, that small size. So I'm, ow, mosquito, sorry. Spawn of Satan. Oh, I know, they have a place. Everything has its place in nature. Just wish it wasn't in my yard. See the spider there in the background? Building their nest, or web, I guess. Woo. And there is another one. Can you see it there? Man, these things blend in so well with their environment. Well, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm seeing a little bit of lightning flashing in the distance and the wind starting to blow a little. So maybe we'll get a little bit of rain tonight. Uh, that'd be awesome. But I found, what, 25 or 26 hornworms tonight. Usually I would feed them to the chickens, but since it's the middle of the night, I ended up just squishing them. <laughs> My hands are glowing under the UV light. That's kind of weird, huh? Let's see what that looks like under regular light. Let me grab my flashlight. Oh, hold up. That's pollen. Hold on. Yeah, that is pollen on my hands. Quit, kitty. Quit climbing me. Arr. Look at this. Big old grasshopper. I feel merciful tonight. I'm just gonna throw you away from my garden. All right. But yeah, that's kind of neat. The pollen, I guess, is glowing under the UV. All right, let me, I'm gonna test this. I don't know if it's the pollen or the, the worm guts. Right there on my knuckle, there's some pollen. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Uh, no, it's not the pollen that's glowing. It's the It's the bug guts. That's that's weird But you can't really see where I squished the worms under regular light however Under UV it lights up So that's kind of cool, huh? Anyway, yeah, I got 25 or 26 hornworms tonight the good news, I guess, is that all of them were small. I, th I hope that's good news. That means that either I have um, already picked off all of the large worms, or the big ones are just doing a really good job of hiding. Hopefully, I've just already gotten rid of them. From here, what we need to do, I guess, is keep an eye out for new damage and watch out for worm poop, caterpillar poop. That's a dead giveaway that you have some hornworms in your tomatoes. I'm finally getting some ripe ones. There's the one that I've been waiting on, right there. I'm gonna pick this thing tomorrow. Tomorrow you shall be mine. But 25 hornworms, even though they're small, man, the damage that 25 growing hornworms could have done in this tomato patch. Would have been devastating. Um, did I get all of them? 
I'm sure I didn't. This is kind of a jungle of tomatoes. I've never really done a good job of keeping my tomatoes pruned and nice and neat, so they just kind of grow together. If I did a better job at that, it would probably be a lot easier for me to find these things. That'll be a note for next year, I suppose. I think next year also, I'm just going to bite the bullet and uh, I'm going to use something like maybe some BT, something that is natural, organic, but something that I, I won't have to do as much hands-on work when it comes to these worms. If you didn't know that caterpillars, or specifically tomato hornworms, would glow under a black light, it's an easy way to get out and find those things. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Leave us a thoughtful comment. Let me know what you think. Have you done this before? Do you have any better ideas on how to get rid of your tomato hornworms? If so, please drop that in the comments section down there. And if you're interested in following along as we continue to turn our home into a homestead, then be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily sustainable living.